Every year, a large number of Jamaicans find themselves repatriated to their home country against their wishes. The challenge of resuming a life and livelihood in Jamaica after an absence which might be as much as 20 or 30 years can be daunting. But there is help at hand and the challenge can be met. The British High Commission, in collaboration with the Government of Jamaica, has developed a support system for people who have been deported, designed to meet their needs on arrival back in Jamaica. We hope to promote the safe reintegration of such people and their families into Jamaican society, to increase opportunities for employment and training, and by so doing, to avoid any temptation either to re-offend locally or to be tempted to travel illegally with false documentation. The aim of this DVD is to both reassure and inform those about to return to Jamaica that there are free and friendly services throughout the island standing ready to help get their life back on track. Every week a number of Jamaican citizens are required to return to their home country, having overstayed their immigration conditions or committed a crime in another country. We can only imagine their feelings as they tear out the aircraft window on the final approach to a land they may have only spent a small portion of their lives in. A sense of wonder at the vibrant, beautiful colors of both land and sea, and the anticipation of a warm welcome from family and friends will be tempered by apprehension as a reality of finding a job or occupation in unfamiliar circumstances hits home. Fortunately, help is at hand. Processing of returnees takes place at both national airports. A brief interview will be conducted by officials to verify the identity and background of each returnee. This is a short process and before long returnees will be able to collect their baggage and get ready for the next stage of their lives. It's important to collect Form C-27 from Customs before exiting the airport as this will facilitate the tax-free shipment of personal effects over the ensuing six-month period. A key support organization is the National Organization of Deported Migrants, or NODM as they're known, supported by the British High Commission and the Government of Jamaica. The NODM's responsibilities include providing transportation, reuniting persons with their families, and processing queries regarding accommodation and redocumentation. Uh, NODM is an organization run by deported migrants, run by, directed by the decisions are made in the interest of NODM by its membership who are deported migrants. Jamaica, the most vibrant little country in the world. You will find that the people are welcoming and colorful, and our dynamic culture is always adding new elements. The British High Commission and Government of Jamaica support local organizations in Kingston, Port Antonio and Montego Bay to ensure that those without a place to stay can have food, shelter and advice free of charge. The Open Arms Drop-In Center in Kingston provides free short-term accommodation and three meals a day along with trained staff to assess the needs of returnees and advise on skills training and employment opportunities. Hibiscus Jamaica provides a similar service for women and children, focusing on social welfare and income generation for those seeking a way to support themselves and their children. A full-time trained social worker is on hand to help reintegrate the returnees and help them find a stable and secure platform to live on. I've started a business. The name of my business is MNR. I sell from a pin to an anchor. You can find everything there including ear, nail, glue, polish, chicken bag, and clothing, slippers, everything that you needed, you can find it there. And I support my community in a very special way. In the future, I want to expand my business into wholesale, and I can sell to smaller shops around in my community, and um, that I can also employ people to work with me. Portland Rehab Center is located in beautiful Port Antonio and Open Heart Charitable Mission can be found on the outskirts of Montego Bay. Both facilities offer free accommodation under the program along with a range of support services designed to reintegrate individuals safely into the community. If you don't have a birth certificate, the Registrar General's Department should be your first stop. The process is very simple. First, you will need to speak to the information agent to get a number. 
Next, you'll have to wait until your number is called, at which point a customer service representative will take your information and you will verify the information and sign the document. The cashier will be your last stop at the RGD. At this point, you'll get a receipt to collect your birth certificate at a later date. The next step, your TRN. In applying for your TRN, you will have to bring along with you your birth certificate in addition to two passport pictures signed and stamped by a Justice of the Peace. Similar to the RGD's office, you'll be given a number and an application form to fill out while you wait. When your number is called, a representative will then begin the process of getting your TRN card. Both the TRN and birth certificate application process can be carried out in regional centers throughout the island. Finding employment in Jamaica, like anywhere else, can have its challenges. But there are organizations ready to assist our returnees with the job searches or advice on starting their own businesses. There are also opportunities to complete skills training programs free of cost with a registered organization such as the Heart Trust and Open Arms. These aim to equip deported persons with vocational and literacy skills necessary to seek employment or start a business in Jamaica. When I came back in 2008, I tried many different things to find work and find a living that will you know sustain myself i got a chance to go to heart you know that has been a tremendous blessing i got some much needed education would like to back that back that up with some cxc subject which i'm still pursuing right now i, I have a word game that i've invented i would love to see that on the market and the experience at heart gave me the opportunity to design the board because learning photoshop I was able to design the board exactly as how I was envisioning it in my mind. What we wanted to do was to get our deported men and women as they returned from England to structure a program for their reintegration back into the Jamaican society. We had intense discussions among the deported men and women, helping to come to terms with their reality back here in Jamaica, trying to redefine themselves, uh, and, and then to talk about where is it that they want to go from here. The vast majority of those men and women were not interested in going back to England. What they wanted more than anything else was a chance, a second chance at life to restructure their lives in their home country, which is Jamaica. I can think of a young man um, who was part of our workshop and, you know, um, he now runs his own courier business. He does courier around town. When I came back to Jamaica, I was shocked for two days because of the whole procedure. And I think it was rather embarrassing you know, going through the whole process there and even by the airport. Stigma is always going to be there, no matter what, you know, friends, families, no matter how they sit and laugh with you, they, that stigma is still going to be there. So, you know, you, the best if you can just try and overcome it. You know, I decided to get out there because I didn't want to sit down and I've heard a lot of experiences. So I went out there got out, tried to get a job to try to take care of myself and from one thing to another, as I said, I started a tire repair. I did some cab service for a minute. Um, I also was working on the bus system and from there to the postal service where um, I started my courier service, which is Quick Runner. And by there, I got my first bike through the credit union where I've had some income that's why I invested some money in a credit union and by working I purchased another bike and also that's when I started to expand where I had to employ workers and um, it's a team of four of us because I employ three persons other persons with me also business is relatively good I've had about six companies and I'm still being recommended um, as the business progress. I also purchased a house out of all of this. So now I'm also a homeowner, paying my bills, 
and having a steady flow of income on a daily basis and try to invest while I, I continue doing my service for the country and for myself. Starting over is always a challenge, but it's usually a challenge worth overcoming. We know our returning citizens will have a positive impact in our society and we will provide as much support as they start new lives in Jamaica.